Welcome back to Drop the Box. Today we're going to be showing you how to wind back on an electronic park brake using VCDS. The first thing you need to do is connect the battery maintainer to your vehicle. Now this is a very important step because having low battery voltage whilst carrying out this procedure could cause you some serious problems. Connect your scan tool to your vehicle and turn the ignition on. Before we start the procedure we need to make sure that there's no stored fault codes in the ABS module. So open your VCDS program and click on select control module and then select ABS. Once that loads, click on fault codes and make sure that there's no fault codes displayed as shown. Then you can come out of that, go back, go back right to the home screen. Now we can start with the procedure. So the first thing you need to do is Release the parking brake. Now go to select control module. 03 for ABS and brakes. Basic settings. And now you're going to want to select start line in change mode from the drop down menus. and click go. Now that this process is finished, the park brake motor has now been fully wound back into its home position and you can now push the piston back as you would in a normal caliper. Once you have finished your repairs and you have pumped that foot pedal, we now need to reset the park brake. So again, you're going to want to go to select control module, 03 for ABS and brakes, then go to basic settings, and from the drop down menu, you're going to want to select end lining change mode. And then click go. Now that the process is finished, come out of the VCDS program and manually operate your park brake to make sure everything is okay. Well, that's it. I hope you found the video helpful. Um, please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And if there's anything you want to see in the future, please leave a little comment and I'm sure we can do something for you. Uh, please stay tuned. There's plenty more content coming up and we'll see you again. Thanks.